I didn't know exactly how this happened and how the Eagles were so, so lucky for this. Can you tell me what your thoughts on on getting N'Kobe Dean in the third round? I, this is one of those out of all the slap rock, bad luck, just misfortune that the Eagles have had when it comes to drafting. It seemed like finally <laughs> somebody's praying grandmother, something happened on the draft day of the Eagles for a lot of things to go right, finally. And this is one of those picks for me. The Eagles didn't deserve this pick because this kid is definitely a first or second round player. But something happened where the Eagles, you know, God was like, look, I'm going to look down on, on, on this organization. I'm tired of just, I'm tired of them just, just, just making buffoons of themselves. Let me just give it to them this time. And I think this pick is definitely that for us. So I feel in this draft, we have at least three starters within the next year or so. Mm-hmm. And I think we got a chance at a fourth starter with the, the the pick afterward. But let's talk about N'Kobe Dean, right? Everyone knows that he's a smart player. This kid has the just that, uh, that innate ability to find the ball through trash. And it's a hard thing to do. And it reminds me of London Fletcher when it comes to just, just – just ciphering through the minutia in order to get to the ball. The kid has that, that anticipation and he has that ability to get through traffic and he's explosive. Now, when you look at him on tape, you say this kid runs a four, four, he goes out and runs a four, seven, four, but he vertical jumps a 41 and he has a short shuttle time four two four three short shuttle time. That lets me know that he's one of those guys that has great anticipation and his first step, first couple of steps are so explosive. You think he's running a four, four. And I think that's a great ability to have, because remember, it's not always about how far you can run at linebacker It's how you can anticipate and your first couple of steps to get to the ball. So I think he, it just translates very well. He dropped because of a peck, some injuries, um, got hurt during training, um, didn't get surgery on his peck. So he dropped down and he also, under six foot, right? You know, has short arms. So these are things that people are looking like, oh, it's not going to translate to the NFL. But for us, I think it's a blessing in disguise. We get a first round level talent with Jordan Davis, with Hargrave, with Fletcher Cox. So if he is undersized, have small arms, how many times are the offensive linemen going to be able to reach you with those three guys in the middle of you or two guys up front? It's going to be very, very hard for people to get to the second level. To, to be able to block this guy and with his anticipation, he's going to be able to beat a guy with his agility, not necessarily with his um, um, power, but with the agility, he can beat him. So I, so I think that he's going to play um, at some point because he has, he's a better player right now than Davion Taylor. He's a better player right now than Kaiser White. Um, I think that the body type of TJ Edwards and what he's bringing along, I think it's going to be hard to beat him out, but he's going to play outside linebacker at least. Um, or in, not outside linebacker, but but one of the off ball linebackers, weak um, yeah. type type linebacker. Yeah. So that's my 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 thought. 